All right, hello, my name is Thomas Heinz and I'm a solution engineer with Okta. Today I would like to explain you a bit the differences between uh, the YubiKey deployment options. If you have a look here in Okta under authenticators, you can add two different YubiKey options basically. So one is YubiKey named and the other one which YubiKey is supporting is FIDO2. So what is the difference between these two? I already added both of them. Let's start with the classic YubiKey option. Basically what that is, if you don't know how the standard or basic uh, YubiKey operation is. The YubiKey has two slots and you can store in each slot um, like a different option there. By default, um, it is called the YubiKey OTP, so it's a long code which will be entered after you long press um, the YubiKey. To use that, it is an admin rollout. So that means you have to have all the Yubi keys in your hand. You want to enroll to users and program that first into Okta. So Yubi key is offering on their website some instruction how to do that. So basically you need a tool, the Yubi key personalization tool, and you would plug in each individual Yubi key and you would program that. And in the end, you will get a file out of it. So you can see that in the screenshot, basically you get a file. After that, the file also can contain like multiple YubiKeys. You can take that file and say here, add YubiKey and upload the file. Then you can hand out the YubiKeys to individual users and you note, for example, the serial number of the YubiKey. And when the user f at first time uses the uh, YubiKey, it will be mapped to the specific user. So you can see that in here, if we go to YubiKey report, you can see that John Doe is using the following serial number and the YubiKey is active. I can show you in a few seconds how the, um, the normal usage of a YubiKey will look like. The second option, what YubiKeys are offering, let's go back to um, the authenticators, is WebAuthn. And that's, in my opinion, the nicer option to do because that's a user-driven rollout. So whatever you have in your box, plenty of YubiKeys, you give it away to a user and say, here, that's your YubiKey. You can still know the, uh, the serial number, but it's not really necessary. And the user can then self-deploy the YubiKey to his account. So that's, of course, way easier in, instead of just um, programming everything in and then giving it out. So it's a lot of um, administrative stuff. I would always consider using the, the second option. Let's have a look how does that look for the user when he logs in. So we'll just go to a different user profile and I will try to, to log in. So in my case, that works um, flawlessly and without a password because I'm, I'm using Okta FastPass on that, that machine. But I configured a few apps which will require um, multi-factor. Let's try it out with Nextcloud. If you click on the Nextcloud option, you could see all the factors I configured and are allowed for the user. And you can also see I can use YubiKey Authenticator and I can use Security Key or Biometric Authenticator. So these are the two options. Let's start with the classic option. So you would basically click on that and then you insert your YubiKey and then you long press the, the button. I have stored my OTP on the second slot. That means I have to touch the YubiKey longer than one second. I will do that quickly. As you can see, it enters a long code, and after that, I have to click on Verify. And then I'm basically signed in. Next, let's see what the rollout of a YubiKey with WebAuthn security key biometric will look like. So I will just go ahead and go in here and say, I want to set up another YubiKey. You could also do that via wizard. So if you say now a YubiKey or a security key is required for some uh, some users, they will receive a wizard at the beginning when they log into Okta saying, hey, your admin said you have to enroll right now. And then they don't have to fiddle around within the settings. But the process as soon as a click on setup is the same. So we do that here manually. Now it says, okay, we just want to verify it's still you. So not someone else is enrolling some security factor. Um, I could use then again my, my YubiKey. I will do that again just to show it again. So long press, hold it, and then it's entered and I have to click on verify. Um, I also have to, to provide a second option. So I just provide my password quickly. 
now it works. And now I'm on the step saying enrolling a new security key. I will basically just say setup and then again click on setup and then I quickly touch my UI key. So very quickly I can touch it. And then I just say yes, allow and I'm done. And how would the UB key now look into operation? So you can see enrolling is super easy for, for a user. Um, it doesn't take, take much to do that. If we go back to the My Applications and let's see if we can use uh, Salesforce or it's already single signing on. Uh, let's go with Nextcloud. It's already signed on. So now it's hard to find an option which is prompting for a factor. Let's try Office 365. That is prompting me for a factor. And in that case, in that instance, I will say, yep, use my, my security key. And I don't care about that option. I just quickly touch it. And I basically have the first challenge done. I configure it to be a bit more secure um, to also say, yeah, you always have to enter a password or another factor again. And I will quickly do that. And I'm basically logged in. Okay, I hope it's a bit clearer now how the operation of a YubiKey uh, looks like. Um, you can always protect a YubiKey with a PIN code. So you have to enter a PIN and then touch it. Or there are YubiKeys out there which don't require a PIN. You can use biometrics, so you can just save a fingerprint on the YubiKey. That's also pretty nice. And of course, there are different YubiKeys available which can be used wirelessly via NFC. Uh, YubiKeys which have USB, USB-C or Lightning uh, plug available, so you can also use it on uh, on iPhones and, and Android devices and so on. But that option would always maybe uh, the nicest if the YubiKey supports uh, NFC. All right, I hope I have answered a few questions. All right, I hope I have answered a few questions and uh, yeah, reach out if you need any more information. Thank you.